Hello and welcome to the second video edition of Kerrigoracle's Pub Quiz. This one is for the 9th of March 2018. So as before, it's going to be all the questions and then all the answers. And I'll be leaving three to five second pauses between the questions for you to have a think about the questions and try to come up with what is the right answer. Uh, you should allow yourself 60 to 90 seconds if you want to be true to how I conduct this at the pub where I run the live version. But uh, in general, I just hope you enjoy. So let's have some background music and let's begin. Question one. Below is an obscured image of the seal of the President of the United States. The full design features an eagle holding two things, one in each talon. What are those things? You get half a point if you name only one of them. Question two. Shia, Ahmadiyya and Sunni Muslims all agree on some basic acts considered mandatory by believers as the foundation of Muslim life. These are often referred to as the pillars of Islam. How many pillars are there? And I hope I pronounced those like sects correctly. Question three. The ozone layer protects the Earth's surface and us from harmful types of UV radiation and other cosmic badness. What is the chemical formula for ozone? Question four. Who painted this or what is its title? Question five. The eight most common sexually transmitted infections are the four curable ones, that is syphilis, chlamydia, gonorrhea, trichromoniasis, and the four incurable ones, hepatitis B, genital herpes, HPV, and HIV. Which of these is the most common worldwide? You get half a point if you manage to say the second or third most common out of the eight. Question six. This is the maths question. In the made up land of Asgardia, there are three income tax brackets. 0% if you earn between zero and 10,000 crowns, 10% if you earn between 10,001 and 30,000 crowns, and 25% for everything above 30,000. Tor earns 50,000 crowns per year. How many crowns does he get after he pays his income tax? Is it A, 37.5? B, 40.5, C, 43, or D, 45,000 crowns. Question seven. The double bass is the lowest pitched string instrument in use for modern orchestras. Name either the orchestral instrument that has the lowest pitch in the woodwind family or the orchestral instrument that has the lowest pitch in the brass family. There is an errant S in this question, but never mind. Question 8. Theramissia, the home of Wonder Woman, is a fictional island inhabited by only women. It is inspired by the Amazons of Greek mythology. Name any Greek mythological hero who met a queen of the Amazons during their adventures. I've got three possible answers. If you know your mythology really well, you might be able to come up with one I haven't found, but... Question nine. This is the anagram. So we're looking for an American writer in the anagram, Whiny Agreements. Question 10. This is the two-parter. They're both parts are going to be about the London Underground. And so for 10A, we have that the London Underground includes what was originally called the Metropolitan Railway, the world's first underground railway. When did this original underground open? 
Was it 1817, 1840, 1863, 1879, 1898 or 1911? And for the second part on the London Underground 10B, which one of these two word phrases is not the name of a London Underground station? So, Chalk Farm, Marble Arch, East India, Burnt Oak, Rising Gate and Wood Green. Five of those are tube stations and one of them is not. Which one? Question 11. The 1990 film Dances with Wolves won seven Oscars and it has been preserved in the US Library of Congress as culturally, historically or aesthetically significant. Name either of the Native American tribes featured in the film. Or if you don't get that, you can also guess at which actor stars in, directs and produced the film. That's worth half a point should you not get one of the Native American tribes. Question 12. This is the acronyms question. I have one of these pretty much every week. Expand any one of these acronyms given in context. You just have to tell me what each letter stands for. So the first option is we played the tape on our old VCR. The program was produced by the BBC. Uh, the invitation requested that you RSVP. Uh, I will say a word of warning, I'm going to be picky about BBC. You have to get it exactly right. Question 13. The British Empire was the empire that controlled the largest land area. At its greatest extent it covered 35.5 million square kilometres, which is 23.84% of the world's land area. Name any one of the next three largest empires by land area at greatest extent of all time. Question 14. The giant panda is a well-known animal, but which of the following statements about it is false? A. Unlike other bears, pandas do not hibernate. B. Poaching a panda in China carries a minimum of 10 years of a 10-year jail sentence and can result in execution. C. Pandas are well adapted to their bamboo diet. Or D. Wild panda numbers are increasing. One of those is false. Which one? Question 15. Who's that Pokemon? These weren't always popular but they're not super common and maybe you know. Question 16. In World War II, which nation deployed the heaviest battle tank? A. The USA, B. The United Kingdom, C. France, D. Germany, E. The Soviet Union, or F. China. Which deployed the most massive battle tank? Question 17 is the what year question. All of these events occurred in the same year. Uh, which year? So we have 11 Israeli athletes are murdered in Munich by terrorists. Bloody Sunday, the British Army kills 14 unarmed nationalist civil rights marchers in Northern Ireland. The Apollo 16 and 17 missions launch. Eugene Kernan is the last person to walk on the moon. Ceylon becomes the Republic of Sri Lanka. Norway rejects economic, uh, European Economic Community membership. The original arcade version of Pong is released. Nick Frost, Dwayne Johnson, Ben Affleck, Cameron Diaz, Idris Elba and Gwyneth Paltrow are all born in this year. Which year is it? Question 18 is a weird one. We're looking at flags with strange dimensions. Each of the descriptions below fits the flag of one country, unless otherwise stated. Give any one of the countries whose flags fit a description below. So the first country you could identify is the country who has a flag that is taller than it is wide. There is one country like that. 
Your second option would be to identify the country whose flag is more than twice as wide as it is tall. Again, only one country ha is like this. Third, you could identify a flag that uses the golden ratio. It's written into the constitution that that is the ratio of the width to the height of the flag. Or lastly, there are two perfectly square flags in the world and you can tell me both if you want the point. So you can either tell me a single country for the first three or the two countries for the last one. Four possible answers. Which brings us to question 19, which is worth five points. Uh, the way this is going to work this week, the next slide will feature six famous quotes and you must tell me for a point for each one who said it. To be clear, you only need five. There are six quotes, but you only need to find five of them. Like, there's a maximum of five points available for this. And the last name of the person will be enough in all cases. So here are the quotes. Laughter is timeless, imagination has no age, dreams are forever. Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. I became insane with long periods of horrible sanity. What do I wear in bed? Why Chanel number no. 5 of course. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. If I have seen further it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. There are six quotes there, you need to tell me who said any five of them. If you get all six, then you can have some extra bragging rights, but there's a maximum of five points on offer here. And the last name is enough. Question 20 on the live version and on the video version is who be playing. Unfortunately, if I actually play the song, there will be ads placed on this video and I'd rather not. So instead, I will simply tell you that this song is Free Falling, which everyone has heard, I'm sure. And you need to tell me the name of the artist. Additionally, it's now time for you to pause the video, make sure that you've taken a guess at everything. You can skip back and look at the questions again if you want to. But in three, two, one, let's go through the answers. Question one, the eagle is holding an olive branch, although I will accept just branch, and in the other talon, arrows. So you get half a point for branch and half a point for arrows. Question two, there are five pillars of Islam and they are listed below. Uh, the one that most people remember is the pilgrimage. Question three, Ozone is O3. Normal oxygen in the air we breathe is O2, but in the upper atmosphere, O3 can form and it actually helps keep out the cosmic rays. Question four. This picture was by Rembrandt. It is called The Anatomy Lesson of Dr. Nicholas Tulp. And yeah, I suspect that most people who get this will have just gotten Rembrandt because that is a long name for the painting. Question five, the sexually transmitted infections, herpes is by far the most common, although in most cases it does not express symptoms. For half a point, you could have said HPV, which is the one that girls get vaccinated against, uh, or chlamydia, which is the more most active of these. Question six, this was the maths question. Uh, the correct approach was to work out each bracket separately. So the first bracket of 10,000, he gets all of it. The next bracket, he gets 18,000 out of the 20. And the last bit, he gets 15,000 out of the 20. And when you add it all up, you find 43,000 crowns. And that is how tax brackets work. Question seven. The double bass is the lowest pitched string instrument. The tuba is the lowest pitched brass and the contrabassoon is the lowest pitch woodwind, although not all orchestras have contrabassoons, so I will accept just bassoon, which is a slightly smaller, slightly higher pitched, but still low pitched instrument. Either tuba, bassoon, or contrabassoon. Question eight, Theramissia, uh, queens of the Amazons. Heracles, also known as Hercules, slew Hippolyta for, his, for her belt as the ninth laborer. Theseus, 
who may have mar married an Amazon. Um, the mythology is unclear. And Achilles, who slew a queen of the Amazons, Penthesilia at Troy. Penthesilia? Question nine. This was the anagram, and we were looking for Ernest Hemingway, very famous American writer hiding in whiny agreements. The two-parter, question 10 on the London Underground. It opened in 1863, which means that the tube predates the Suez Canal, the last public hanging in England, and the invention of the light bulb. When they built it and when they started operating it, everything was lit by lanterns like flame lanterns, which is still a little bit crazy in my mind. Question 10b. The station that I have made up is Rising Gate. There are eight stations with the word gate in their name, but Rising Gate is not one of them. Question 11. The film Dances with Wolves features Pawnee and Sioux tribes could have either one of those to get the full point or if you guessed wrong or just didn't know the tribes then you could have put that Kevin Costner starred in, directed and produced the film. Question 12, the anagrams. VCR was video cassette recorder. BBC is British Broadcasting Corporation. It must be corporation. Company is not acceptable or any other like C word. Has to be corporation. And RSVP is French, Respondez, s'il vous plaît. Uh, you don't need the accents, you can be a little bit kind about whether you've spelled it correctly, but uh, that's the fundamental idea. Question 13, we were looking for empires. Behind the British Empire is the Mongol Empire, which existed in 1200 to 1300. Uh, the Russian Empire is actually third here. Uh, that existed just before the 1900s, and the Qing Dynasty, which existed in the very late 1700s. Um, I suspect most people who got this said Mongol, to be honest, but it's interesting. Question 14. The giant panda is not well adapted to eat bamboo. It still has the digestive system of a carnivore, as well as carnivore-specific genes, and thus derives little energy and little protein from the consumption of bamboo. This is why they have to eat so much, up to 14 kilograms of bamboo every day. Question 15. The Pokemon is Omastar, or if you're from another country, you might have heard a slightly different version of the name, but that is the Pokemon in question. Question 16. World War II the nation that deployed the heaviest battle tank was Germany. The Tiger II tank weighed 68 tons, uh, sometimes called the King Tiger as well. Question 17. The year was 1972 when this murder, moon landings and Pong all came to be. Question 18 was flags. The flag that is taller than it is wide is the flag of Nepal, which is better known because it's the only non-rectangular flag, but it is also true that it's taller than it is wide. Uh, twice as wide as it is tall, more than twice as wide as it is tall, is Qatar. And the golden ratio is Togo. And if you were going for the square flags, you had to give both Switzerland and Vatican City. You may not have half a point here since you couldn't have gotten it from any of the others. You have to have both to get this point. Which brings us to the quotes. In the first set of three were Walt Disney, John F. Kennedy, and Edgar Allan Poe. The last name is sufficient, so Disney, Kennedy, and Poe. And the second set of three were Marilyn Monroe, Winston Churchill, and Isaac Newton. So again, last name is enough, Monroe, Churchill, Newton. And if you had five from six, you get all the points. And obviously if you only have, say, three correct names, then you get three points. Yeah. So that's all the points normally out of 24. But if you knew that Tom Petty sung Free Falling, then you can give yourself an extra pat on the back. In the live version, it's worth a point, but since the slideshow can't do it, and I mean, I can't even play the music, we'll just consider it a bonus for now. Which brings us to the end of Quiz 38. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I've closed the comments on YouTube so that you'll have to go over to the Reddit 
and comment there because I don't want to split discussion between the two places. And at the end of the video, I'd like to say thank you to anyone who likes these enough to donate on Patreon. I currently have one patron and I'm hoping to start making video content for patrons. Maybe little extra facts that I find about questions will go up there and so on. So if you want to contribute, please do. Uh, otherwise, please enjoy the quizzes. I'll put links to the previous one and the next one on this video, and you can enjoy. This is Karagorical signing off.